Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It is a beautiful day here in Napa. Um, I'm sure you're all out enjoying the weather. I am hard at work planning my weekly treats. Um, and one of them for Valentine's Day is going to be cinnamon rolls. They will be a bake at home treat. And I just wanted to make sure to do a quick demo so you can all see um, what the steps will be prior to jumping in and getting them. Um, if you got the everything pull apart rolls, they are, um, these are even easier than those and those are pretty simple. So it's kind of a no brainer. You're gonna have this amazing cinnamon brown sugar butter smell in your house and you are gonna get fresh cinnamon rolls and you can bake them in your bathroom. I don't think there's anything better than that. So I just wanted to show you um, a few different options you have. So there will be six rolls in a pan. When you get them, they'll, they will be frozen, ready to bake. Um, there are five in here, but um, what I wanted to really make this video for is because six cinnamon rolls, these expand quite a bit and it's a lot of, it's a lot of cinnamon rolls. So maybe it's just two of you having breakfast and you want to have two of them. You can do that. So, um, what I recommend is opening up the pan of cinnamon rolls and you can remove them. So they're not even really stuck together. So here's one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to bake two of them. Uh, and this way you can buy that pan of six and sort of space it out, or you can bake all six and get completely indulgent, which is fine by me too. Um, but I have this little uh, loaf pan. This is a small loaf pan. I am gonna bake two cinnamon rolls in here. So I have buttered this with a little bit of uh, soft butter. You can use Pam or like any kind of nonstick spray you have. I always opt for butter. I love butter. Um, so butter is fine. Um, and these shouldn't stick anyway, but this is just gonna ensure that they're gonna come out of the pan super easy. So I'm gonna take two of the cinnamon rolls and just put them right in here. So you have your pan, you have two cinnamon rolls. I am then going to cover this with a sheet of plastic and I'm gonna set it in a warm spot for about an hour and a half. I'm working really hard at timing everything for you guys so that when I write something, you know, when I write directions that they are as close to perfect as possible. Everybody's environment is different. Everybody's oven temperature is slightly different, but these should rise for about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna set these down um, in a warm spot in my kitchen, right on the top of my oven. Um, not inside the oven, on top. Um, and they are not gonna quite double in size, but they will defrost and they will start to expand. So we're gonna do that. Um, and I should also mention that you are going to get this little container of cream cheese uh, vanilla frosting. Probably the best part for some people. Um, and this is what you're gonna use when they come out of the oven. What I love the most about this is that you can eat the cinnamon roll and continue to spread this on the bun as you eat it. So you can, are not gonna feel like, oh, I wish there was more frosting on here because you have more. Um, so I will come back and I will show you the next step and show you how to bake and frost them. Um, and we will be right back. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half um, and the cinnamon rolls, you can see they've kind of filled out the pan a little bit. They will not fully fill out the pan until they're baked. And then you will see they will um, fill out this whole loaf pan. So my oven's preheated to 350. I'm gonna bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes um, until they're lightly browned and really um, puffed up. And then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so it's been about uh, 25 minutes and I have taken the cinnamon rolls out um, and I wish you could smell them. They smell so good. Um, so you see they filled out the pan completely. Um, now, as far as the frosting goes, you can frost them in the pan um, or you can take them out. Totally up to you. Um, I am gonna, what I like to do is wait just a few minutes um, and put a layer of, of the icing on and then uh, go back about 10 minutes later while they're still warm, but they're cooling off a little bit and put more on. So it's kind of like a, a two layer um, process. Really though, this part is completely up to you. If you don't wanna frost it at all here and you just wanna spread frosting on it while you're eating it, you can do that too. So I'm gonna show you if you're going to take them out, um, they'll just come right out of the pan like this. I'm gonna set mine on a rack and I'll show you how easy the frosting is. So the frosting you should take out um, when, you're, when you're defrosting your buns and just leave it to sit um, room temperature and it'll be super soft when you're ready to spread it. And you can see, this is just gonna melt 
all over these and be totally delicious. I'm gonna make sure to give you a little too much so that you can enjoy it as much as possible. So there you go. Warm cinnamon rolls that you're gonna have on Valentine's Day. They're so, so delicious. Um, I hope that you get in on these while they're still available. I have a feeling um, that they might not last, but we'll see. The icing is dripping. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. But this is a pretty simple bake at home um, with huge results. Um, you will absolutely love these cinnamon rolls, I'm sure as much as everyone in my house does. I don't know if you'll love the way they taste or the way they smell more, because it's both they're both pretty amazing. Uh, but I look forward to offering these tomorrow night at five and uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks.